right, let's get started. So to start, you played Jimmy in Netflix's new film, The Babysitter Killer Queen. Can you just tell us a little bit about Jimmy and his character? Yeah, uh, Jimmy's kind of like the new kid on the block, a little bit of John Travolta from Greece coming into the picture, uh, definitely to be there for Cole and, of course, the gang that's with Jimmy. Uh, you know, kind of like the man of the hour, a little bit of a, a, a D-bag, you know, here and there. Um, but, you know, his intentions are good, especially at the beginning of the movie. Of course, that's until you start seeing what, what unfolds and what the, the real intentions are. So. Yeah, I love that. And I'm sure you do it absolutely flawlessly. Now, this yeah. is a very different type of project from the things you've previously done. Um, what was that shift like going from doing shows like Henry Danger and I Am to now such an intense thriller? How was your process different? You know, with Henry Danger, it was almost like a similar type vibe when it came to, you know, comparing that to the Jimmy character, just because of how I'm still this you know, this fitness icon kind of guy. And then of course, you know, showing off the aesthetics and getting all shot down, which was in Henry Danger. And then I go on to Jimmy, which was like full blown, you know, co-star -co uh, role for me in the movie, which it, it kind of definitely was a level up, but very, very similar when it comes to just how I presented myself, how I, how I carried myself. Um, yeah, just definitely similar in those, those type of physical ways. Absolutely. What was your process like going about playing Jimmy? How did you prepare for the role? Um, so originally when I got the, uh, the, the audition, I read the description for Jimmy and right away I knew it was me. I mean, you know, I know that sounds a little bit cocky, but I read the name, I read the description and I just thought to myself, oh my God, I'm Jimmy. I just felt it in my heart and soul. Like truly, it was like my intuition was just screaming, you're going to get this, you're going to get this. Of course, I film the self tape. A couple weeks later, I get the callback. Uh, I go in to do the callback. The casting directors want to make sure I was able to listen to direction well, and you know, change this or that if they want me to give a different emotion for you know a certain uh, part of the, the scene. And then you know, before you know it, I, I I got the role. And preparing for it wise, I just came in relaxed, clear mind, but knowing who, who Jimmy was again, in the sense of uh, where my intentions were especially for each scene with where it was going and how it was unfolding and just kind of leading off from there and kind of uh, maneuvering around with the rest of the cast and how their, their flow was. A hundred percent. I love that. Yeah. And I think that uh, attitude towards, you know, you saying you have, you got this role in the bag. I think that's fantastic. I love that. This film has yeah. such an incredible cast. What was that dynamic like on set? What was it like working with everyone? It was so fun, uh, very, you know, improv -y, adventurous. McGee loves to change up lines on the, on the spot, you know, have you improv yourself, just see what you can bring to the table, just to kind of see, you know, what, what feels best uh, for the scene. And it, it, it was overall just really, really fun. And, and I'm, I'm remembered for the rest of time. And uh, Mick G especially, he's an amazing director with the way he can uh, describe a situation to you and then have you understand that and then put that emotion into the scene with your character. Absolutely. Can you tell us a little bit more about what Mick G was like as a director for this project? Yeah, uh, phenomenal. You know, he knows what he's doing. He's a legend. Uh, I was already a fan of him before I got booked on this, so it was just really cool getting to meet him in general and then, of course, start the project with him. Yeah, just very, very smooth, you know. He, he understood everyone and, and who we were as people, and, and, and he's a very uh, – he's it's almost like the, the, the cast was almost like a, a rainbow kind of cast where you just you have every different type of color and background coming in together, and that's also what makes this project very beautiful because it's diverse and – you know, we all come from different places, but um, yeah, McG himself, just amazing director. I was totally able to understand everything he was explaining to me day in and day out. And uh, we're here. Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any favorite moments from filming? Yeah, I would say the, the boat scenes are probably my favorite. Um, it, it was definitely the longest takes because it was about 12 pages in total just for the inside. But, you know, just the way it starts and then how it builds up and then unfolds and then the, the rest of the gang come back. It was just crazy, crazy. And uh, but definitely a lot of fun. Took a couple weeks to finish that up. And that I would say that's that's my favorite part. Absolutely. What are your so what parts of the movie and your performance in general are you most excited for viewers to see? Is there anything that kind of stands out that you're like, wow. Um, I, I, I guess 
everything that has to do with when the party starts, because everyone's coming to my uncle's boat, right, to, to get the spring break on. And then, of course, everything on the bow, and then when it folds, and the part where I, I scream, I'm king of the world, you know, B word, uh, I improv that. Again, McG wanted us to kind of just go, what we could throw, throw out there. And uh, it's just, uh, that, that was all definitely some of the, the, my most favorite times I think fans would love uh, watching. <laughs> Yeah, tell me a little more about that improv stuff. I find that super cool. So McG kind of said to you guys, um, interpret this in your own way. How did he go about that? Yeah, you know, there would just be some some scenes where we're about to start. And uh, again, especially with, with the, the, the outer wide uh, boat shot where all of us are climbing on board, he was just like, go at it, you know, be yourselves, be extra, be wild. Jimmy, I want you to be crazy. Diego, I want you to say, you know, give a reference to this or that. He's, he's big on references, G. Um, and so, yeah, he just, he really wanted us to embrace who we were, uh, as people in, in our real lives in a sense. And then of course, bring that into the character for the film. I really love that. I really do. So do you have any advice to aspiring actors who want to be just like you? Yeah, I would say, um, first, first and foremost, be patient, uh, stay consistent, become obsessed with the craft itself and not just like other type of reasons you're seeking uh, it and be yourself when it comes to these auditions because you can't try and act like someone else that they've already seen because they're not looking for that they, they want to see who you are as a person and and how you can create this character that they're, they're looking for right and the few people they're selecting to audition uh yeah you, you just you need to be genuine you know and honest and real with yourself and real with the character you're becoming and the, the lines you're reading out and just just speaking from the heart that's, that's what I'd recommend. So. Absolutely. I know you said that um, Jimmy was actually pretty similar to roles you've played previously, but were there any ways that he kind of differed that you kind of found challenging or? Um, to be honest, no. It was all uh, pretty solid. I mean, my first day on set, don't get me wrong, that was kind of nerve wracking because again, it's my first day. I'm working with all these big time stars. You know, I'm about to lead the scene in a sense because, you know, we got the 200 background walking around us, the, the 100, 150 crew on the other side watching me. So I was a little like, you know, on edge, like, okay, it's about to happen. Um, besides, besides that first day, the rest was history. I was just spot on. I felt conf more confident than ever before. And it, it just went great. Absolutely. Now you said in a previous interview that um, a part of the concept from Jimmy came from you and then the other part came from Mick G. Can you tell us a little bit about that? How did that influence come from you? You know, uh, it came from me just because I understood already what they were looking for. And, you know, not that that's who I am as a person out, outside of that movie, like how I was acting in there. But I just I could relate a little bit to like, OK, the, the type of kind of, you know, cool boy, popular boy they want to, they, they want to come bring to the table, uh, as well as the workout thing. Of course, they wanted someone with some nice arms uh, and a reference that they had when I was doing the original self-tape was like uh, Matthew McConaughey, uh, Days and Confused, if that's the movie. Oh, yeah. and, you know what I mean? They, they yeah. kind of, when I read that, I was like, okay, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of all right, all right, all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Throw the charm in there. Yeah, absolutely. So can you tell me what your favorite part of the whole experience was? Favorite part? Um, that's a hard one. I mean, it, it was all such a blast. Uh, I would say a lot of the boat scenes, you know? I mean, just the, the spring break party actually was really, really fun. Just how everyone got to party and kind of really just go at it and be natural and be yourselves and do this or that. Everyone was pretty much improving. Uh, but it was very cold and windy that day. So when you watch the movie, it looks like all oh, hot and sunny and fun, but it was freezing as, as hell. Um, but that, that was, that was pretty fun. hundred percent. That sounds really fun. Little, little cold, but other than that. So yeah. last but certainly not least, what can we expect from you in the future? Do you have any projects coming up that we can look forward to? I mean, you know, McG wants to do a third. <laughs> Who knows? G might be seeing a little bit more Jimmy in that, but, uh, Besides that, I, I have a song that I'm releasing next year, I would say January, um, under Universal Music Group. I'm with Thump Records, as well as uh, I'm a part of a, a new project coming up that's in, the, in development right now and getting written um, called Operation Ivy League, where that's based on a story back from 
2010 with some Columbia students that got in some crazy trouble. And, uh, you know, there's some other things in the works. Got to keep hush hush for now. But yeah. we're working. Awesome. I love it. And I know everyone's so excited to hear all about it. Thank you yes. so much for joining me today, Max. I'm so excited for everyone to see this film. I know you're going to shine in it. I'm super excited. Thank you so, so, so much.